Wagwan, welcome back to the DIY Yardy channel. Welcome if it's your first time. In today's video, we got a 2008 Chevy Uplander. It's got multiple codes, some engine codes, some body codes, but what I'm concentrating on is the engine codes in order to get it through the state emissions inspection. It's got a P0172 with a rich condition and uh, 300 some misfire codes so first thing I did is thinking possibly the um, tune-up may solve my rich condition issue I went ahead and I did a tune-up um, first thing I did was uh, plugs and uh, ignition wires um, replaced the air filter which was in terrible condition um, did a new PCV valve and um, also did uh, remove the uh, mass airflow and clean that and once I cleaned the mass airflow and uh, put everything back together well the tune-up solved my misfire code but did not solve my rich condition so I had to probe deeper so I'm gonna show you a little video with um, what I learned with these cars is that even though it's a V6 the car only has two O2 sensors on one side of the engine and those two sensors actually kind of estimate the readings on the engine which is a kind of weird situation so these cars they can trigger codes based on if if you it's kind of complicated if if you don't always fill your car if you're like a person that only puts a few gallons in your car at a time it can actually cause a car to throw these codes because the car is basically the system resets every time the in the tank is filled up and if you're like putting a couple gallons in the car it's it's throwing off the estimates of the computer of the car basically so it's crazy um, I've never ran across a situation like this with a car but you know everything is a learning experience okay so what I'm doing here is I'm actually checking the alcohol content okay because when you have a rich condition your alcohol content is usually pretty high on these Chevy vehicles so there you see a saying 57 percent and that is way too high so what I had to do was um, actually I did um, uh, alcohol percentage uh, test and how you do that you know really there's a, a kit for doing that but I didn't have this kit but I'm gonna show you a picture of it that in case you may want to get one of these it's like a little test tube and it, it has all the marks that shows you your water level and the fuel level so water always pulls alcohol out of the fuel so if you use one of these you can actually do the test to determine how much alcohol is in your fuel okay like I said I didn't have one of these so I just use a regular jar you know regular um, you know jar like a regular um, what do you call these glass jar you know so at the bottom of the where you see the writing I have that's water below there okay so then you're supposed to put like 90 percent gas 10 percent water so I use my fuel pressure tester to get the fuel out of the car into the jar now had this been 57 percent like it said it would have been would have been um, more than half clear meaning water and alcohol and less fuel but you see the fuel is actually the right reading which is about 95 percent gas and five percent alcohol 
I also had to borrow a friend of mine or a buddy of mine's um, scan tool to do the alcohol systems reset okay because my my scan tool just didn't have that capability all right so I didn't have my uh, camera with me to record that reset so I'm just gonna use my scan tool now to show you what the alcohol readings are saying now after I've done the reset okay so the where where the readings are now are pretty much where they should be when it's actually um, operating like it's supposed to all right so I already have the vehicle in there which is the 08 of lander and I'm gonna get get the pids pulled up so I can show you exactly what the readings are all right so remember these cars <laughs> they're really uh, you know kind of I guess I guess you'd say temperamental I mean if you own one of these cars you might want to you know fill up every time when you um you know go to put gas on the car because if you if you don't if you're only putting a couple gallons at a time you may have this problem and if you don't have a um, OBD that can do a um, alcohol systems reset you know or alcohol percentage reset you know you're gonna have some trouble with uh, the emission system, the emission test anyway uh, if you look you can see that the long term uh, fuel trim is down way down the short term is way down and now my alcohol percentages is at 1.2 and this is after driving the vehicle for a couple of days you know so just by doing the re the reset that solves my issue you know so hopefully this this um, video helped you uh, and this is the DIY Yardy and bless up subscribe like share enough respect